What's up, you guys? This is Scott eighty six here with a brilliant fucking mastermind installment to my Let's Play series. This is my favorite game of all time. Okay, I know I already had a Let's Play of this game with me saying that a million times that this is my favorite game ever. This is the most brilliant genius game ever created. Um, yeah. Like I was saying, I have a Let's Play on this game already. But you know what? Fuck that shit. The, um, the parts were 7 to 10 minutes long, you know? I want to do an epic long play of it. So, we're going to do this shit right here, right now. It's a Scott 86 with Let's Play Shenmue. The long play, episode 1. This is my fucking... This whole Let's Play is just a giant, huge shout-out to Shenmue 3 coming here soon, you know, it's actually happening, it's going down, yeah, so, it's actually happening, you know, I told you guys, I made that video, telling you don't worry, you know, it's gonna eventually happen, it's just a matter of time, remember I made that video saying that, well, the shit's hit the fan, it's really happening, you guys, and this whole Let's Play Shenmue, uh, Shenmue 1, the long play is fucking a shout out to that, you know, to Shenmue 3. So, uh, without further ado, let's play Shenmue! Shenmue 3, Shenmue 3, Shenmue 3. Now just get ready for me to be shouting it out to Shenmue 3, the whole LP, and every episode's an hour long. From a far eastern land across the sea. <laughs> Like a damn bird. He's like, his courage shall determine his fate. <laughs> the path he must traverse fraught with adversity. I await whilst praying. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga. Begins. Alright, I just wanted to let y'all see that. Let's go back to the... Why? Yu Suzuki, fuck yeah. The genius. And he's giving us three. Thank you, bro. Finally. Alright, let's go back to the Dreamcast. I don't know. You know, never mind. Fuck it. Let's just get this shit going. Episode 2 can contain the Dreamcast. Uh, let's see here. Yes, we are back again with another episode, or another uh, Let's Play of this. I hope y'all are ready to buy more capsule toys that you've ever bought in your entire life. I wonder why he's running home. Because we're not in a hurry to figure out who, who his, know that, his killer who's is. Oh no, he, he's running up, I guess. Look kind of nervous, worried or something. Yeah, I'm gonna shut my damn mouth so we can scope the epicness. Scott 86, let's play Shenmue, the long play, episode one. Ah, uh, Isa. Isa.
you want. You know. I feel like this game really kind of just plays itself sometimes, you know. Anyway. Shenmu 3, tell me. Yeah, I 
like sisters or best friends? <laughs> We feel like brothers. No, we're brothers. No, we're not. You didn't know that? That's crazy. He never told you? No, we're not actually brothers. Where's Mama? <laughs> she didn't even buy it, dude. Aw, oh, shit. The dream's haunting him. The image of Landy destroying his entire life. Along with his fucking father, you know? It's haunting him in his dreams. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Yeah, he's evil as fuck. It's alright though, because uh, thanks to Shenmu 3, we uh, might see some revenge here soon. Shenmue 3 is coming out. Yeah, play water. Play water. I'm gonna put that gray chair right here right here soon. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with uh, Let's Play Shenmue: The Long Play by Scott86. This is uh, basically your um, kind of like a memo pad. You know, this is where all your uh, your objectives are gonna be, you know, phone numbers, they got weather forecasts, uh, all the weather in the game is actually based off of real weather that was, uh, that was, uh, actually happening in Yokosuka, Japan, and, uh, this, around this time, you know, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, there was a mirror with a dragon design stolen by same man named, uh, that killed his father named Lan D. He murdered dad and wore a dragon robe. Rare fight style, tattoo on his arm. Alright, um... In Moon Swoon, dad killed a man named, uh, Chao Tzu Ming. What happened that day in the dojo? So, we try to figure out who that guy is, Lan D. Like, who he is, you know? And we're gonna try to find out uh, who Chao Tzu Ming is. So we got a couple of leads. Dragon Mirror stolen, you know. Just gotta figure out uh, if anybody knows anything about it. All right. So basically, this game lends itself to be thoroughly, thoroughly searched. Okay. So you can interact with almost anything, as you can see. Turn on the lamp here. There's actually a cassette tape right here, a Shenmue uh, cassette. Alright, move on. Yeah, so we're going to be here for a while, searching these drawers. Awesome. Alright, so... We have a cassette player to play said cassettes. So uh, any um, tape that you find, you can play it if you have that cassette player. And if you don't, then it's all you gotta do is go get it out of this drawer right here. All right. So there's a picture of friends here. A photo of friends. My bad. The zombie. Two other guys, classmates probably or something. Alright, let's check the final drawer here. Alright, it's another tape. Alright. Here you go, bro. Shahua tape, I said. Some trophies in here, a couple boxes and stuff. Nothing really important. Let's shut this. All right, 
right. If you ever want to save, you can save right here. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, this, the bed is, the bed in, uh, Dio's room is the only place that you can save. But, I mean, I'm not going to say it's the only opportunity you have to save, because if you go right here, you can do resume save. But the only thing about the resume save is, uh, yeah, you can save wherever you are, or wherever you want to, but it's only good for one time. You know, you can't go back to it if you, like, turn off your game or something after you uh, already loaded it, you know. So, let's check uh, these drawers here. See if there's anything we can take out of these. Some underwear, socks. We got some uh, white Hanes shirts. And uh, just nicely, neatly folded white shirt. Assortment of uh, shirts and pants, so we know he has other clothes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And then we got some uh, rock and roll magazines, some comic books, you know. So he's a cool guy. Yeah. He's relatable as shit. All right, so let's go ahead and leave the room here and cut scene. Legitimately have to work for your living, you know. So, all right, let's press on. I'm gonna show you guys some cool shit, and then we're gonna go. So, all right, come into this room right here. It's actually right across the room from Rio's room, as you can see. Uh, I'm not really worried about messing with the light switch here, but um. This is actually uh, really cool. If I can pull it off without looking at the light switch. What's up, Rainy? Alright, yeah. So if you open up this cabinet here, voila, it's a gaming system, dude. Check that out. He just has to look at the light switch, man, every time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it looks like a Sega, like a Sega Saturn or like a PlayStation or something. Something, yeah, it really does. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, it says Sega on it. Yeah, it says Sega on it and stuff. Very cool, um... Sega games always shouting out. I think you can actually play games on there. I think you can win them from the arcade somehow. Or you can buy them. And play them. Dang. You know, so, uh... We need to try to get, a uh, Mapper Burner for sure. Alright, and if you, uh... Come in the kitchen, you can open up these. That's pretty cool. Later on, there'll actually be, like, milk and, um, stuff in here that you can take, but, uh, 
We're not to that point yet, so I'm going to move on. Alright, cutscene, baby. Go over to this. Food sitting here. Look at it and press A. trying to say here is I uh, don't waste food you son of a bitch so let's move on oh check this out we can meet the cockroach guy our cockroach friend he lives in this uh, cupboard down here check it out check his ass out it's just a cockroach. He tore around, dude. Tore <laughs> it's off. just a cockroach. Oh, oh man. Phew. What a relief. It's just a cockroach. <laughs> Can you go out the store? Alright, this is actually a door that you cannot go out of. It's useful in that one. Alright, so if you go down to your right, down this hall here. Is that the wing? Oh. Here's your bathroom. Super crazy looking toilet on the floor there. But they got toilet paper and a sink, so it works. And there, you already missed it. I'm not going back in there. Watch, it, watch the Let's Play. It'll be up in an hour. <laughs> in two hours. Yeah, about an hour and a half. Inisan. Inisan. You must be tired. Perhaps you should rest. I'm fine. If I don't keep busy, I'll get depressed, you know. That's just like you, Ine-san. So well, to... just don't overwork yourself. Yes. Where is Fuksan? He's been in the dojo all day. All day? Yes. I suppose he's working out his grief over Sensei's murder. Please go and talk with him. Ryan. Sure. In the bathroom. He's taking a bath. What is it? What is it? Alright, so basically if you go in here, you can uh, totally pray. But Ine-san will not get out of my way. So. Excuse me, ma'am. Alright, yeah, so if you come in here. It's actually a box of matches. Just off. Right here. Knock off. Knock off. Oh. Knock off.
like his dad's uh, study, like his office. And there's a note to Dio in here. That's pretty cool. That we will actually check out, right?
All right, later on, you'll need a phone book right here. You can actually pick it up and take it out and use it. But uh, we're not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to look in here see if there's anything useful in here. Some more DOC right there. I'm, oh. yeah. All right, and just the sake of uh, never having to watch the beginning video again, we can try to attempt to do this let's play seven times, probably something like that. Already said. Saving over the first file. Fuck it. Oh. All right, so. I mean, we've explored this house pretty much as thoroughly as possible. Um, I didn't go in Fuxan's room, but we actually have to go there later on, into his room later on for a purpose, so we'll check it out later on. But uh, for now, let's head outside and go t uh, talk to Fuxan about what happened that day. Scott 86. Let's play Shenmue Episode 1, The Long Play. Shenmue 3 is coming soon. Corey Marshall is totally, totally going to be uh, the voice of Dio again. And I'm so stoked on it, man. I can't wait for Shenmue 3. I can't wait anymore, man. I've been waiting 14 years. Give it to me already, goddammit. Give it to the world. So Shenmu fans everywhere can get what they deserve, you know? Another uh, little extra hidden cutscene right here. Enjoy. Yeah, so basically, through those little cutscenes, it's just like helping you as the player get to know his father a little more. You know, so they're uh, very awesome. Around to see if anyone saw men wearing black that day. All 
Alright, so we're going to go into town and ask, ask around and see what we can find out about uh, the whereabouts of these men that uh, just so uh, brutally murdered his father. So. Let's do it. Yamanose, 2.25 p.m. December, December, 20, December 3rd, 1986. Basically, you always want to feed him the dried fish because if you try to feed him the tofu, he's just not going to want it. You know, so it's just pointless.
if I don't get that video, I'll explain it to you if you're, like, just down to, like, progress in the story and you do get it because if you just leave the house right away, right after you talk to Poots on, when you get right here, there's going to be a cutscene where an old lady asks you if you can help her find the Yamamoto house. And it's right here, you know. Yamamoto, so that's the house that she's looking for. Just go here. You have to go there and actually see it first, because then he'll be like, well, I guess let's go tell that old lady. Uh, uh, tell that lady, and she'll be on, sitting on that swing right there. So, uh, yeah. There's the Yamamoto residence. If you need it later on, or if you need it in your game, then that's where it's at. So, let's move on and go to Dublita. Second this try, is cool. dude. Yes, Sonic the Hedgehog. Dang. Total Sega drop here, you know. Badass. We got him second try, bro. Turn him up. Yeah, wow, that's awesome, bro. Alright. Gimme tails. Gimme knuckles. I don't know who 
what this is, Theo. <laughs> Bark, apparently. I should try again. Hit it up one more again, bro, and then you can just kill some QT if you can do it right now. I don't know, maybe. QT championship. Alright, we're gonna try to set a new record. I hope I'm not putting Crit under any pressure here, but uh we're gonna set the stage. Or try to. Y'all remember the old score? Dang, I need to check that video and see how many views. I should try again. I need to right now. Change my mind. Yeah. You might you should stop while you're ahead, buddy. You seems like you have a problem. <laughs> stairs are actually, um, what was going on? Nighttime sequence. Legit. All for beautiful. <laughs> beautiful ass game, man. But, uh, we're gonna actually, uh, Kurt's gonna go try to do the QTE champion, championship of the world game. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? QTE title? Yeah. QTE title. QTE title. One game, 100 yen. Hey, kids! Give me your best shot! It's crazy. It game's a whole dollar there. Get out of here, you little crazy ass. Kill it, bro. You know? Come on, bro.
first try. <laughs> Dang. Damn. What a score, huh? Damn, beat that, bitch. You are the champion! Jesus. Dude. I'm gonna give this one a go. Yeah, I'm gonna try it after you two, bro. Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, don't. Uh, yeah, I'll play. What's going on here? I'll try it. Uh, I was asking me how many times I wanted to play. Just one, please. It's probably gonna cut off uh, in the middle of this. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode right here. You guys, this is Scott86 with Let's Play Shenmue, the epic long play. I'll see y'all on, on episode two. I'm going to let y'all watch me uh, hopefully kill this game, and then uh, I'll see y'all on the next episode. Peace. Yeah, there you go.